Hello everybody and welcome back to Purple Plays The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. <clears throat> In the last episode, we explored the rest of Hyrule Castle and uh, made our way out right as soon as we finished. Um, and right before we finished, aside from getting like a whole bunch of need items, weapons and stuff, I'm actually missing two slots right here. We um, actually got a new shield. The best shield in the game, most likely. The Hylian Shield. It's not as big as, let's say, the Night Shield. Or as fancy as any other damn shield, but it's still really good. I'm not going to use it, though. At least not right now. And uh, we also got a whole bunch of Ancient Arrows, which is always lovely. And go ahead and kill all those Guardians, or at least most of them. And uh, in this episode, we are going to first start off by... Visiting Korok Forest, which I already told Rivali's Gale is now ready. Thank you, Rivali. Which I'm going to, uh... What am I going to do? <coughs> Excuse me. I am going to, uh... Go down Korok Forest. I'm actually on top of the Great Deku Tree. I climbed him. And, um... I'm going to talk to Hetsu, I think it was. And, uh, get some more inventory stash. Since I have plenty of, if I can show it off, plenty of Korok seeds, although that is poultry compared to, uh, well not poultry, but it's very minuscule compared to what I found out is the total amount of Korok seeds in the game, which is unbelievable. But I digress. Anyways... Got a whole bunch of like pot acorn pots here just just strange Ooh, chick -a tree nut but anyways I climbed all the way up here because not because I wanted to break all his pottery but because he actually uh, there's a Korok up here and I wanted to talk to him oh he was actually asleep hmm <sighs> Having such a nice dream. Wait, if you're here, does that mean you want to face the ultimate trial? So you're the one with the ultimate trial. Yeah, I don't know what to do, but okay. <coughs> the ultimate trial has begun. I'll tell you a riddle about an object. Your job is to solve the riddle and bring me the correct object. Here comes your first riddle. Small, red, round, and sweet. Bring me one of this simple treat. Have you figured it out? I'm guessing you're more stumped than the base of, of a felled tree. If you Ah, I get it. If you place the right object on the leaf, I'll dance for you. Alright, so the riddle is small, red, round, and sweet. Okay, well, what do we know that's small, round, red, and sweet? An apple. So that's what I'm assuming it is. That's actually pretty easy. Apple! It's an apple! And he's doing a dance for us, so I guess we got it right. Yep. That's it! That's it! You got it! <clears throat> the next riddle is... Kakariko Village's specialty fruit. Its rock-hard flesh is quite resolute. Well, I don't know any Kakariko Village fruit, but I'm assuming we can get it from Kakariko Village. So, we'll be heading over there. Um, also one thing to note, the reason why this is glowing is because we got all the memories in the last part. So all of these have now, um, <clears throat> I've been to every single location and I got all the memories. This was the last one right here that I got. It's right by Zelda's study and her room in Hyrule Castle. Be careful because guardians lurk all over the place. Okay, I digress though. Um, so there's that, and uh, we have to go tell Impa now, but I kind of want to wait. I I'll talk to her, but I don't know um, if she's going to give me the last one because there is one more um, memory we don't have right here, memory number 17, which ties in Despair and the Master Sword together. So, I'm assuming Impa's gonna 
help us with that, but if uh, she just gives it to us, then she gives it to us, but otherwise, I'm going to avoid trying to get it until I get ready to fight Ganon. <clears throat> I feel it'll be more meaningful, but I don't know. Because I want to have all the memories right before I face him, but I don't want to go and face him after knowing about it, because then it's like, okay, I got all my memories, it's probably a cutscene or something. And then it's like, now go defeat Ganon. But first I'm gonna do all these shrines and take a whole bunch of chicken eggs to a lady so she'll give me a new item pouch. Or something like that, you know. I don't want to be distracted when I get to the biggest plot points and I already finished off the Divine Beast so the memories are the next best thing. But anyways, I'm rambling on too much, let's talk to you. If you return my lost Korok seeds to me, I'll expand the size of your inventory. Uh, let's go with a, uh, should I go with a shield stash? I'm actually gonna pass. Let me go with a bow stash. Okay, um, eight. And then I'm just gonna go all weapons if I can. I do love his little dance. All right. How much for the weapon stash? 12. Please be another 12. Hell, if it's 14, I'm fine with that. Alright, I can carry three more weapons. How much? 17. Well, let's see what else I can get. I got 14 right now. How much for another bow? <clears throat> 12. Uh, I mean, you know, why not? I feel like his dance should be longer, if I'm being honest. Well, maybe if you didn't charge so much. And maybe if there wasn't so many damn Korok seeds. I want to, like, I'll keep looking for some, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get 900. I only have, like, 72 or something. I haven't even made a single dent. I'm not even a quarter close, and I've already gotten so many of the seeds. It's, it's ridiculous how many there are. Just absolutely ridiculous. Where am I going? Anyways, uh, with that out of the way, though, I'm going to head over to the Wago Kata Shrine because I want to go to the Riverside Stable. See you guys in just a moment. I'm not going to cut, though. But So why did I say I'll see you guys in just a moment? I don't know. Okay, so if ice is good against fire, and fire is supposed to be good against ice, what is electric good against? I know it's good against any enemies in the water, or if it's raining, but you'd think there'd be like a triangle of elements, like in Pokemon or something. Although fire, lightning, and ice don't really have a good triangle together. Because usually thunder has a... Uh, has a normal um, effectiveness against ice and fire. But anyways, since we're here, let's see. Wait just a minute. Can you show me that big sword you've got there? What? Oh, that's what they meant by the royal series. That okay. I'm glad I actually kept that. This is incredible. Thank you. You'll show me something truly spectacular. I need to go out and find one of these myself. Here's a token of my appreciation. Oh my. Ah. Hey, that big sword. Will you trade it for a rupee? Uh, I mean, it's a really good weapon. 
However, it is very durable as well. And I could use the ruby. Well, why not? I'd rather have uh, money than I have like a really breakable weapon, so. Okay, so that's what they meant by the Royal Series. I wasn't sure if they meant, uh, oh, where's my other sword? I didn't know if they meant just uh, this because it is a, because it is a Royal weapon. But, uh, there's also, like, the other royal weapons made by the Sheikah. Okay, so that's one down. My royal cuisine. Aww. You're the one with the royal cuisine quest. A cuisine lovely enough to be flavored in the high royal family. If the recipe still exists, I'd love to try it. Well, I found two recipes, and I need to go to Dorito Village in order to make them. So what I'm going to do is, uh, before I head there, I'm just going to be doing like a whole bunch of side quests this map, uh, game, game part, and I'm going to head over to the Rin Oya Shrine to get to the Snowfield Stable, because, wait, was it this one? Wait, why am I going here again? No, she wanted the picture of the stall horse, so was there something else here, or am I just being dumb right now? I think I'm just being dumb. I'm almost positive I'm just being dumb. Well, it's cold as hell, so, I mean, you know gonna end up freezing my ass off somewhere in the sky Hi. I need to see a dragon I need to uh, don't I have pictures of dragons that I have yet to delete or did I delete them all already nope I still have all three uh. I even have dragon parts Oh yeah, it's incredibly cold. Uh, oh. The source hill is dark and you are about to hear all the sound. I guess they mean hardships. Let's see, are you it? Oh. How's it go? You find a stall horse. No luck yet. Oh. Stall horse probably a lot, like a stuck one. Okay, so yeah, I think I made the wrong area. Where'd you say it was? Whoa. North to Bantha Snowfield. No luck yet. And it also comes at night, so I guess I can go ahead and do that real quick. And snow boots. So north to Bantha Snowfield. So about like right around here-ish. I just need it to be dark and it's 5.40 p.m. Let's see, that's a double axe. Not taking any horses because my horse died and I'm a bad owner. Oh, it even says north on my uh, little mini map. I didn't even notice. That's helpful. That's actually really helpful. First time I'm noticing it. Alright, you know your place. Uh, the thing is that I don't know when it'll come out. I probably should just sit by the campfire and wait till nighttime. But actually, one thing I remember and I keep forgetting to do because I'm a moron is I could just hold this. Oh, that is not cool. I'm just gonna drop that right there. I really, really hate Octoroks. Well, at least he dropped a trout, so <clears throat> I can always have that. And then I have like 26 flint. There we go. Instant campfire. Mm. 
Alright. And with that, it's night, so now I can look for that stall horse. Okay, and then. Ah, you little ass. Really hate you guys, too. Oh, well, you got parts, why not? I don't care about your dragons. Well, actually, no, I'll take it. It's a piece of crap, but I'll take it. I thought these were rocks. Please don't come over here. I don't really want to fight. All right. So there are supposed to be stall horses somewhere out here. Where would those be? Hmm. Okay, well, I need to head a little further out. <coughs> Actually, nope, I have you. Didn't register. There we go. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, that time it had to. There we go. Okay, I got the snow coat. I already have you. God, guys, just get buried or something. <clears throat> Don't really want to deal with you guys. Okay, this should be the area. need to stop trying to pick a fight with me. Okay, so... I would imagine it's somewhere around here. Would you... Asshole. Imagine it's somewhere around Blood Moon again? But I thought the Blood Moon already passed. Yeah, when I was in Hyrule Castle, the Blood Moon already passed. <clears throat> Unless it just reset or something. And there's the Lionel over there. I kind of don't care. I've already seen it enough times now. It's kind of lost its uh, threat on me. Okay, so there's you guys. <laughs> So I got rid of that. Hello, Moose. Goodbye, Moose. So where are the stall horses? I mean, this would be the area, wouldn't it? Here's a rock. And it's just a rock. That's a Lizalfos. You little asshole. He drops good meat, I'll give him that much, but man, they're annoying. Let's see, nothing. 
I want to be careful because that Lionel's right there. I don't really want to fight it right now. I just want to find the stall horse. Okay, so anything would be lovely right now. And I mean anything. Tireless frog, some key swings, an opal. Seriously, where the hell is it? It's nighttime and I'm starting to lose uh, time. Barking at me like, wait, what? <laughs> Come on, bastard's gotta be somewhere. And it's gonna be morning. Great. Where the hell is it? See, it's three thirty now. <clears throat> three thirty-five. Three forty. Yeah, I have not found it yet. This is kind of irritating me. Well, you're just going up and lying. Oh, come on! At least that killed it. And I think it's morning now, so what I'm going to do... Get another piece of wood and get another flint. I'm just going to rest another night. At least with this, I don't have to worry about uh, going back someplace and just coming back again. Shrine or Gemma Shrine, whatever. All right, stall horses, you gotta be somewhere. You got to be somewhere, unless the area changes, in which case I'm just running around for no reason. Yourself, I had I'd given you a choice to run because I know you'd do that anyways. You chose poorly. Like every other animal that comes and tries to cross my path. Alright, uh, I think it changes or something because I'm probably going to have to go back, which I don't really want to do. It's so annoying. Oh, a bear. Hello, bear. What are you running for? You're a bear, right? You ain't nothing. Ugh. Don't 
don't challenge something you can don't, don't pick a fight you have no chance of winning oh okay you want to sucker punch me come on blue come on come on you want you want to be tough come on you want to be tough huh come on come on tough guy Okay, I'll admit, he's tough. But he made the wrong choice when he decided to try and pick a fight with me. Come on. Come on, Baloo. Oh, you tripping. You tripping. You tripping. Why are you tripping so much? Because this is what's coming next. Oh, you done goofed. You done goofed hard. Okay, let's go. Yeah. You ain't shit. And I'm going to eat you. Look at that, wasting all my time and wasting all my health. Wasting Mifa's grace on you, you pathetic lot. do something I've already established my dominance in the animal kingdom yeah come on do something big guy do something do something come on where are you going right in the asshole These guys just picking fights. They have no chance of. Same with that guy over there, but at least he can fight. Yeah. Just so mad because I can't find a damn stall horse. And now I am running out of weaponry. Let's go with the Royal Halberd. You know better. See, he knows better. Same thing with the fox. I don't even want to kill the fox. Hell, I don't even really want to kill the wolf, but after biting me twice, that's just gone too far. Gotta establish the pecking order here. Ooh. Hello. Hello to you guys. Okay, so I got that. Worthless, all of you. I just want a new picture. Picked the fight, he couldn't win. I was close, but I wasn't trying to hit him. <gasps> Wait, is that it? It is. another terrible picture that's a beautiful picture so can I ride it 
I can. Awesome. Cool. Can I keep it? I hope so. Ha! Bastard. Ah! Damn it. Come on, you. Oh, I died. Damn it. Isn't there another one out here, or did I kill it? Awesome, but damn it, it died. He must be really frail. Let's see, those are ice keys. Well, I got what I wanted, and it was a really good picture. I'll give it that much, so. Go ahead and return. I'm not keeping you as a horse, though. You're gonna stay wild. Although I do need a new horse to replace, um, Cheeto. But I want it to be purple, and I might have found one. Are you like a pure... Yeah, you're like a nearly pure black horse. I want you. Sorry. Just a little more. Damn it. Hmm. Actually, no. If you want to add a cancel, just press B, but don't let go of the button. Come on. Let's see, don't I have. Yes, I do. You can't hear me. It's, in, uh, it's fine. Aren't you a beauty? Gotcha! Okay, come on. Come on. There we go. Ooh! Four. That's not bad. It's okay. It's okay. Don't like the white snout. It kind of reminds me of Cheeto in that regard, but I mean, you're a good horse. You're a nice horse. Uh, from what I heard, actually, um, I don't know if I said this before, but pure colored horses are actually a lot better than um, spotted horses, like the diaper ones. But, um,. The spotted ones are much easier to tame than the uh, pure colored ones. So, take that for what you will. 
but yeah, pure colors are actually much better. This one has quite the temper. Hey! Yeah, he has a nasty temper. Yeah, let's go ahead and register it. The bo oh my goodness, this thing is really good. Like, really good. I'm keeping this one. What name can I give you, though? Oh. Hmm. What should I name you? Be Grim. Oh. Yeah, you're gonna be named Grim. <laughs> I really hope she doesn't mind. Uh, I'm gonna take the horse, actually. Um, I want to go ahead and tame him. Yeah, we meet again. I didn't really dress for the weather here, but the world needs beetles good. What have you got? Oh, I... Are you completely sold out of arrows, or is... or what? Well, Lacey's a lot more generous at me window shopping than, uh, before. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check the stats on this horse. Actually, let me go ahead and get off. And let me feed you. I am going to feed you... You know, I'm actually going to try and feed him a radish. No, carrot. They love carrots, don't they? <laughs> he ate the carrot first before anything else. eat the radish? Guess not. But he'll eat the carrots. Oh yeah, he just goes to town on that. And he'll eat the apples, obviously. Nice. Let's go on around then. Holy! Wait, what? Oh, the Endura Carrot. He actually gets an extra boost. I didn't even know that. I just kind of figured he would like the carrots because that's kind of a tradition with um, horses in Zelda, at least, with Epona. Um, in Ocarina of Time and in Majora's Mask, uh, Epona's um, dash rate was based on um, carrots. They later changed it in Twilight Princess to like being what it is now, that weird smack of a whip or something. But that's actually pretty cool. You can feed them uh, Mandura carrots and they can get an extra boost. So that's something that I didn't know about. Hmm. See, I'm just gonna go ahead and explore. I see a giant rock, so I'm assuming that's what I think it is. Are you? Or it could just be a giant rock. They don't all have to be taluses. Where am I? I'm just kind of going on the road right now. But I want to bond with this horse. 
I may have already maxed out the bond though. Urbosa's fury is ready. All right, thank you, Urbosa. That really helped in this area. Let's see, if I'm not mistaken, there was a shrine down there, but I've already done that, so. No, you know, this is the Forgotten Temple area. So yeah, I've definitely done it. Oh, there's someone up ahead. There goes that extra speed. Where do you think you're going? Ha! The rain is bogus. Take those raw drumsticks. The only thing is that they can't really maintain uh, all that. Uh. Weather's totally bogus, dude. I just wanted to clear up so I can get back to shield surfing. Well, you have your own problems. Seems the uh, end of the world thing is just not uh, something that people take too much to heart. But then again, they might, and it's all a matter of why not just enjoy the last few moments you have alive. How about you? Ah! Little bastard. Do you have a rock or something? There you go. Oh, it was just your weird shield. I see you can handle yourself in a fight. So can I. Most of the time. I wish I had more to give you than this, but times are tough all over, right? Not really. Ooh, monster extract. Oh, is that what they meant when uh, using monster extract for your uh, meal? Okay, so all I need is the goat butter, cane sugar, and tabantha wheat. A result of Kilton's research into monsters, this suspicious spice can be used to punch up dishes while cooking. Apparently, it can be used to make a number of monsters' meals. So you're probably wondering what that stuff is. It's called monster extract. A guy named Kilton brews it, this stuff up at Fang and Bone. It's a kind of flavoring that makes any food taste amazing. I know it's made of monsters, but it's good stuff. There's some weird stories going around about that Kilton character. He's obsessed with monsters. They say he does all kinds of hair-raising research with them and came up with a bunch of strange stuff as a result. I kind of want to meet him at least once to see if the rumors are true, but he's a hard guy to track down. Apparently he shows up after dark where you least expect him. Could be anywhere in the world. Mark my words, I will find him someday. Well, I've already tracked the bastard down and gotten some of the best equipment ever. For nighttime, anyways. But whatever. Man, over here, it looks like there was a ranch. I mean, you got the little fences, you got this thing. Hell, it might have been a ranch for horses. No, oh, you didn't jump over. You ass. Hmm. Well, let's keep roaming, I guess.
Or I can stop over here because I kind of want to put my horse away and compare stats and all that. I also want to see if I got the bond up, so... Would it be possible to talk to anybody here? Doesn't look like it. This horse, good sir. Actually, no, I wanted to talk to you. Uh, I want to take it, but I just want to see how it is. Max, max, 76 and max. Okay, so 7 up has more stamina than Grim, but 7 up, yeah, that's the only thing it has over Grim. Just that little bit of stamina, so I believe it can actually, uh, um, keep its, uh, dashes more proficient, or, you know, go for, <clears throat> go for long period, yeah, periods of time when dashing. Not by much, but still, it's a good horse, nonetheless. Lucina is definitely my weakest horse. Then there's Man Maul, the Ganondorf horse. We already know 7 up, and then there's Grim now. I'll give Grim something nice. Oh. Bye. Let's see. Oh, I think you're the Leviathan people, aren't you? Or. No, you're not. Uh, oh, you are. From the Elden region. Uh, I'll do my best. Okay, so they all require one. I'll do my best, so then you. Okay. I've got it right here. I thought I just only needed one set. I can't believe my eyes. You are really good at drawing. <laughs> With this, I finally, I'll finally be able to prove that the Leviathans went extinct due to a catastrophic drought. I'm sure my brothers would appreciate your help with their pictures too. Great, so I have to take pictures of one in the Herba region and one in the Elden region. Screw you guys. I'll do it some other time. Hello, dog. Oh, man, I'm reaching my end point here. Let's see. I haven't really done much, though. That's what bothers me. Hardy Radish. Uh, where can I go now? What's over here? Oh wait, no, that's right, um, that's the Lake of the Horse God, so let me go ahead, and I guess I'll try to awaken the Horse God again or something, I don't know. I mean, I can start some amiibos because in the last two parts I actually haven't, but, um, that was because I was in Hyrule Castle, and you can't use amiibos while you're underground or inside a structure because they fall from the sky, obviously. I actually missed a day with using amiibos, and then yesterday I did it after I transported to Korok Forest. For the simple reasons of, um, of just forgetting. So I'm going to go ahead and do it now. Gonna go with Link. Oh, and just a little bunch of arrows. Okay, kinda didn't mean to do that, but whatever. Oh, I think it was gonna hit the metal off of the chest. Yeah, got some, uh. Got some rupees, got some fire arrows. 
Next. Toon Link. Yep. And boom. Another cap of the wind. So I guess I can sell that at least. It gives a decent amount. Okay. Some arrows. Think arrows and a whole bunch of rupees. Again, it's always lovely. Ooh, the Sword of the Six Sages. With attack up 19. Jeez. Well, I'm gonna probably swap out the one I put on the wall with uh, the one I just got. You know, I'm like thinking of things to do and I keep forgetting I have uh, to go over and make that cake and stuff. So I give it to that one guy. So before I for then again, I forgot about this one too. So I'm just full of forgetfulness. I got time to do both, hopefully. I would like to find the horse god or whatever this horse fairy is that those guys were talking about, but I haven't the foggiest idea of where to look. Unless it's like over here and I'm just being dumb? What the heck is wrong with your hair? Gang up on you because you look like a Pona. Could you be a Pona? I kind of doubt a Pona would be in the wild, but uh, shoot, it looks like it. Honestly, you look like a Pona. Got four. Are you purple or brown? I, you look purple, are you? Or are you red? It is really hard to tell if you are purple or red. I'm gonna take you though. You seem to have decent enough stamina. Did you just try and bite me? Definitely has a temper on you. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and register this one. Maybe. Ooh, this is another good one. Mm, no. Because it would just be a copy and paste, and it looks more brownish than it does red or anything. Let's see, I have Lucina. Jeez. Then again. I think I can swap out horses if, um. Yeah, I'll keep you, why not? And I'm going to call you. Soggy. Oh. Yeah, let's take this oh. horse. If it dies, it dies. Plus, it needs to be bonded with. Hey, at least I'm not grabbing your mane. Besides, I need to ride more horses, obviously. Alright. May stretch this episode a little bit. There's a shrine nearby. Huh. 
I actually um, also changed my sensor back to shrines because I realized that it wasn't even on shrines. Well, you have to hold like forward in order to jump. That's what you have to do. I just hope it doesn't read off old shrines. Eh, maybe, I don't know. I mean, there's a shrine over there, but I don't think it was reading off of it. Dang it. There's a Lazalfos over there. And over there. Might be tucked in there. Just gonna let you die off. Okay, so where was that signal coming from? Don't care about any of you. Where was the signal? Stupid shrine decoder thing. Okay, I was going through here. See, it says that there's one nearby. Okay. even if I did follow the road. All right. And there's a whole bunch of people over here. Where are you going? This might sound strange, but do you believe it's possible to bring a dead horse back to life? I'm a believer. <laughs> I believe it too. I have to believe in my heart that I'll see my friend again. You're the one that told me about the horse. Oh, God. Thank you, Mifa. I imagine it might be over here then. A whole bunch of ruins and stuff. Usually when people tell me about this stuff, it's usually nearby. Well, let's go ahead and do this shrine. Pumag... Pumagnite Shrine. Two thousand one hundred and fifty five. I'm close to uh well I'm not close. I was gonna say I'm close to paying off that ferry. No I am not. Let's see a minor test of strength. And this should be no problem. In fact I really need to get rid of my uh old gear because it's used for the cold. And I'm not in the cold climate anymore. So I'm going to get my signature outfit on. Hmm? Oh, there it is. Capital win twice. I for some reason I thought it was something else. Never mind. Uh, yeah, this is my signature uh, outfit. <coughs> already halfway there. Uh, 
Okay. I kind of messed around there. You really think you're gonna do it? Get out of here, man. I'm not even gonna pick up your weaponry, it's so bull. Okay, maybe I will. But not the shield. The shield stays there. Then again, this could slow me down. Let's see what you left for me in the box. If it is a stronger weapon, then it shows that the game scales as you progress through. Alright, it doesn't. Don't want that either. <laughs> I mean, this is a rather easy area, so I'm not surprised. Alright, so I can get my last uh, stamina upgrade. And then it's going to be nothing but hearts, hearts, and more hearts. Unless there's more stamina upgrades I can get, which I don't know if there is. I believe there would be, but I'll find out. I imagine the max would be three um, wheels of stamina. Maybe a fourth wheel. But even if I get that opportunity, I don't think I'm going to take it. At least not immediately. Alright, so... Nice. So let's go ahead and keep exploring. I'll... Oh, I have no weapon. It's okay, it's okay. Alright, fine, fine. Let me just look around. I heard a Yiga clan member. Oh, there he is. Ugh, there we go. Oh, did I just get rid of the uh, purple rupee? Oh, that's really lame. I need my thunder blade back. God, these guys are just ambushing me left and right. But at least it shows that they're kind of acting more competent than most um, enemies in other games. Because they gang up on you properly. It's like, why would you stand there? Just keep fighting. They're ruthless. and uh, That's some weird lighting over there. Or it just might be me. Just looking, hoping for something. Yeah, it was probably just me hoping. Actually, no, this is odd. The lily pads. Ha! Alright. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep going about. I'll give it about four more minutes, and if I don't find anything, I'm just gonna cut. It. I hear Cass, the accordion. Hmm. It's this area. There's a bridge, and it's it just leading to the uh, the forest dragon. Visitor, so deep in the forest. Oh, we meet again. I trust you're keeping well. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Let's hear it. I'm guessing it's talking about Farosh and, um... The forest dragon splays its jaws. A shrine sleeps with noble cause. Yeah, I imagine it's just talking about the Spring of Courage. 
Ah, oh, you've already softened, I see. Though I am impressed, an uncharacteristic feature hangs over me. I hope that your journey remains free of misfortune. Thanks. The serpent's jaws. Oh, okay. Uh, you are a Korok. I was about to say, you're the Force Spirit. No, you're just a Korok. Okay. Hmm. I mean, where am I exactly? I'm definitely far away from the lake of the forest god, or forest god, the horse god, but... No, but I sure as hell don't. Oh well, at any rate. Hmm. I see eggs. You know, I think it's a little uh, ironic in a sense that I get a horse to replace Cheeto and I end up naming him Grim. It's like death just never seems to evade, does it? <laughs> oh well. Anyways, I don't want to fight you guys, so... Hmm. I'm not really finding anything. I'm just kind of going in a circle now. So I think I'm about to call it an episode, which is unfortunate because I feel like I haven't done anything. In fact, I don't think I did do anything. I did like one side quest, maybe two. But that doesn't warrant anything. That's why I'm like looking. The heck is this? Korok. It has to be a Korok. You have to be a Korok. Okay. I didn't even really move you. Wait, I know what to do. Okay, we're gonna. Come on now. Just need that to sit over there. If it would stop having physics for a second. <sighs> Damn it. I know what I'm probably gonna have to do maybe I don't know this is a dumb one yeah I see something over there too oh it's a chest Fifty rupees. Okay. I didn't even pull it. Why does it do that? It like has this awkward balloon type physic where it's like, I'm just gonna float here like I'm in the water. Like, 
damn it, come on. God, this thing is so dumb. Hmm. I wonder. Okay, so I'm just gonna need it for a second, I hope. Okay, they had it there. Okay, come on. Come on. It is just way, way too, uh... See, look at that. Why is it moving like that? God, this is like the dumbest physics I've seen in a while. It is way too floaty. It's a rock. It shouldn't be this floaty. Why is it so floaty? Okay, come on. Damn it! Let's see. I want to just keep you paused there for just a second. I think that actually worked. That kind of worked. So, I'm just gonna leave you right there. Finally. Jesus. Alright, well, I think that's gonna be enough for me. So, next time on Purple Plays Legends of Breath of the Wild, I have no idea what we're going to do. Probably what I said I would do, and I ended up wandering all the way to the Zonai Ruins, which I believe is where the Spring of Power is, if I'm not mistaken. And eh, I'm probably mistaken, but I don't care. I just don't know. Ooh, Hardy Durian. I swear I just want to find that thing, but I don't think I am, so... Yeah, I feel like it would be around here somewhere. It's all foresty and stuff. Just let me see what this is, and then I'll end the episode. Whole bunch of nothing. Some random ruins. Kind of. Right. I assume they're random. What's beyond it, though? Doesn't seem like much. Oh, thunder clouds. Lovely. Yeah, so. I think I'll call it enough, and I'll see you guys next time.